Hello guys, you are on the RAM24.com YouTube channel, name is Vadim and today we are disassembling the smartphone OPPO A15s. The assembly rate is medium or two gears in our difficulty rating and we will start by opening the back cover. But first we have to heat the surface of the back cover and we will use a heating mat. The temperature is 70 Celsius degree or 158 degree Fahrenheit. We put the smartphone on the mat for 5 or 7 minutes. You can use a hair dryer or sandbag heated in a microwave oven. Now we open the back cover. We put a plastic thick film in. In our case it is a protective film from a new display, but if you need it you can find similar films on sale. Gently move the film along the edge of the cover and peel off the double-sided adhesive tape. The adhesive is quite sticky and we need to use isopropyl alcohol to dry the adhesive base. Be careful, the body of the fingerprint sensor is glued in a circle. You can press the sensor from the side of the cover when lifting it up. The back cover has a square hole and is glued to the camera's cover around it. The far side of the back cover is thin enough. Move the film there carefully, otherwise it may be deformed or broken. Remove the back cover. It has a gasket only. Moving on to unscrewing the screws. Take a Philips 1.5mm screwdriver or hash 3 and unscrew all screws. The screws are the same size and shape. There shall be 19 of them. We detach the camera's cover. It protects the camera lenses. It is held only by screws, but we have already unscrewed them. We take a special tool and pull out the tray for two SIM cards and a memory card. By the way, I just noticed that the tray has a knot that indicates which side to insert. Now we insert the tool into the gap between the middle cover and the frame of the display model, where there is a hole for the card tray and begin to detach the middle cover. Be careful, on the side of the tray opening where the parts of the middle cover is very thin. You can easily bend it or break it. Well, we move our tool along the edges and disconnect the attaches, latches or clips as it's more convenient for you to call them. We remove the middle cover, there are antenna tracks and pads on it. We disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool. Theoretically, we can do it with anything. There is a white area around the connector, but we are responsible for our repair. We will make a mistake and a short circuit. So, my recommendation is anything but a metal tool. Disconnect the cover with a loudspeaker. We pick up the edge and pull the cover slowly up. It is glued to the side of the speaker. Be careful and do not pick anything with a sharp tool under the speaker. There, its pad with the contacts are made in the form of a flat cable. You can easily damage it. Disconnect the coaxial cable. Disconnect the interboard cable connector. We hook the edge and pull out the subboard. It is on the gasket and glued slightly with a double-sided adhesive tape. On the subboard we have a headphone jack port, a microphone and a USB Type-C charging port. On the reverse side we have contacts for vibration motor and for the flat cable of the loudspeaker. Let's move on to the motherboard. We disconnect the connector and remove the fingerprint sensor. Nothing holds it on the circuit board shield. We disconnect the connector of the interboard cable. It passes under the battery and connects to the subboard. Disconnect the display model connector. This cable for display and the touch screen. We disconnect the three rear cameras. Their bodies are glued to the display frame. You need to carefully pick up the cameras and leave them with a lever. Some cameras are glued stronger, some not so much. We peel off the black film and from the inside it is clear that this is a copper film part of the passive head sync system located on the front camera. So we disconnect the connector and take out the front camera and the film. 
we disconnect the coaxial cable connector. Pay attention. It is attached to the motherboard. We detach the cable from the fixations, otherwise we will not be able to remove the motherboard. We hook the edge and try to lift the motherboard. Please note that there are plastic hooks near the camera's holes. They hold the motherboard. Also on the shield of the processor is thermal paste. It will also hold the motherboard. On the motherboard there are SIM and memory cards connector. Under the copper plate shields, processor and other parts. If you want to detach the RP speaker, please look at this example. It is slightly glued on many devices, so we hook it up and pull it out with a lever and try not to damage anything. If you want to detach the vibration motor, please look at this example. It is slightly glued to many devices too, so we hook it up and pull it out with a lever and try not to damage anything. Ok, and if you want to disconnect the battery, look at this example. It is slightly glued. On the green tag there is an instruction. We unwrap the edges of the white film into which the battery is wrapped and pull the green tag up. Just pull it up. Ok, all is done. There is a back assembly for you guys, so if you have watched everything up to this point, then please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, write your comments, how do you like our new video format, go to our website, there is a text version of this video with pictures, and see you in the next video.